why they put out the Friday numbers earlier. But this movie, Transformers Rise of Beasts, is actually underperforming. But it's overperforming the initial projections. Okay. It has upped its way to 60 million, around 60 million. So the movie is a while, it's going to do around 60 million. Spider-Verse is going to do around $55.88 million as well. But today we're still determined where the ladder pulls ahead. But the difference is Rise of Beast is gobbling up over the IMAX and PLF screens, which is driving 37% of the gross. Rise of Beast opening weekend is a complete rebound from basically the last night in Bumblebee, doing horribly at the box office as well. You know, yeah. And, yeah, we also have the diversity demos here as well. So, Transformers similar to Spider-Verse is popular among all groups of people of all walks of life in America. So, basically, everybody of all walks of life like this movie as well. Also, apparently, at least the people who watch these videos say it's a decent movie. And Rizzo was like, you know, it's considered like very great. But I was like, really? This movie's that great? But it seems that Disney is going to have another another fork in the plan. <laughs> Spider-Verse and Transformers being the big dogs in the box office. Okay. Spider-Verse is going to make $55 million this weekend, which is a drop from $120 million. It's actually an okayest drop. Not as good as Mario or something like that or, you know. But it is a bigger drop than the usual movies that have Greg's. But Spider-Verse should probably easily pass $200 million domestically. Which is going to pass the original Spider-Verse as well at the box office. So Rise of Beast is going to open to $60 million. They don't have any international numbers in yet. But it they have it's going to open to $100 million. Starts with some of the sequels. And all else keeps trucking. The majority has to do with this overseas in China as well. So these movies typically open to $100 million as well. You know, no, who knows, God knows if this fast as it's ever touched a $100 million opening starts of its, of, of its other sequels as well. It probably will open $100 million plus. It's going to open to $60 million in America. You think it's only going to open to $35, $38 million internationally as well. They won't have any sales for any of the countries well at they talk about Transformers. Okay. Friday does include the Thursday previews as well. So Spider-Verse is expected to open the $56 million on a second weekend as well. Well. And that means Box Office Pro was wrong. Box Office Pro was wrong. They said, oh, no, big. Forty million dollars. It only make forty million dollars. Uh, trust it. It only make 30, 34 to forty-four million dollars. Uh, trust us. Okay, it's on track for debut for fifty-five million, which is way higher than what they anticipated. Obviously, so this movie will perform very similarly to movies like Fast X and John Wick Four. John Wick Four, of course, obviously, you know, this movie is performing very similar to Fast X you know, as well at the box office. So it's on track of sixty billion as of Saturday morning. Of course it could of course open more than sixty million. They said like John Wick could open the sixty million. But I think the difference between this and John Wick is that John Wick was well received and pe- this movie has more mixed opinions. So John Wick of course had a better opening. And of course John Wick didn't have to compete and John Wick also had to compete with Creed, you know and Scream was already out for a while. And of course, Zam was flopped. The difference between this and, Z- and Spider-Verse, and Spider-Verse did not flop, which is going to take some money away from Transformers Rise of the Beasts, almost certainly. Because they're going to be people like, oh yeah, I'm just going to read watch uh, Spider-Verse again. Uh, we watched Spider-Verse for like the eighth time already, okay? You know, <laughs> the, those people, okay? We're going to watch Spider-Verse for like the eighth time already, Okay. Yeah, but this movie, uh, Rise of the Beasts, will probably do pretty well. Uh, <laughs> considering that, you know, we only have Flash and the failure of Indiana Jones or Dial of Destiny. The fact that this movie is going to perform similar to Dial of Destiny is pretty funny because Transformers always hit the low points. 
Daryl Destiny is going to be the one point for the Indiana Jones series. Okay. Hey, Paramount wants to continue making money off of Sonic, or Top Gun, and Transformers. A good thing you're doing it. Okay. As well. But. <clears throat> other than that, you know. And Fast X, that movie's done. Okay, Transformers is out. That movie's freaking done. Okay. That movie's done at the box office, you know. Yeah, and we have the. Friday, we haven't had Friday sales up already, so we have the Friday sales up. We could judge, you know, Transformers, Rise of the Beast. We could compare it to the movies, we'll be comparing it to, obviously. We'll be comparing it to, uh, well, how are we comparing it to Orita? They're comparing it to Orita. Why are we comparing it to Orita? Why is Orita down? Why is Orita down? <laughs> Similar movies, but popular comparisons have Fast X. Whereas this movie is doing slightly worse than Fast X. It got included John Wick 4. Because both movies had very similar... Uh, yeah, John Wick 5 is a real movie. John Wick 5 is coming out. So, we can compare the first days. John Wick 4 opened to $29 million, Ended up with $33 million. Fast X ended up with $67 million. It's safe to say Transformers Rise of Beast will end up with 60 to $63 million on its first weekend. Which... Compare it to the last night, which compare it to the last entry, last night, which also includes uh two early days, you know, of gross. So this movie is technically performing worse than the last night because the last night got its two early days. Okay, you know, it's basically freaking seen at that point, but. This movie is still performing better than the last night, which is pretty good for the series because it's performing better than the last night did. But the thing is that budget, okay, the budget for actually the last night's budget was higher, okay. And yeah, we can compare it to the last night, but if it doesn't for inflation, it's actually doing still better than the last night on Friday. As well, but the last night had a better opening adjusted for inflation. So it had had around fifty one million dollar opening adjusted for inflation. Fast X and Zark, of course, don't change because we're used because there's a more recent movies to compare to, as well. So yes, this movie is doing worse to both Fast X and John Wick, as well. But it depends on the rigs of Transformers: Rise of the Beast, which will probably be probably similar to Fast X and John Wick Chapter Four. At the box office, because you also have to be near the fast elementals. Okay, yeah, they really think that elementals is gonna be a big hit that because it's Pixar. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. No one's gonna be watching elementals. Okay, the ones be watching that movie. Okay, and also we have Sonic, which Sonic came out last year. Okay, as well, and Sonic opened the twenty six million and still managed to open the seventy two million dollars at the box office. Okay. So, this could go either way. There's still a possibility this movie opens to 72 million, but has to do just as well on Saturday as well as just as well on Friday. So, it has to do 20 to 25 million or 26 million. If it opens below 20 million, then there's some serious problems that this movie is going to have to face as well. There's, there's, yeah. But it really depends on the Saturday numbers and the Sunday numbers. To see how this movie really stacks up against these movies. But these are really the best comparisons for Transformers The Rise of Beasts at the box office. So Fast X is is could probably perform similar to Fast X at the box office as well. Also consider the fact that the Flash has good reviews. And the fact that Indiana Jones Dial Destiny is gonna be a pile of shit and it's gonna bomb. I think this movie will probably perform relatively well. It could it probably could perform have better, you know, rigs than Fast X does, considering that, you know, no one's going to be watching any of those with Donald Destiny. But the pro big problem is the movie next week. And that's the fast. Ain't no way I had a 10 out of 10 on IMDb. It probably has, like, one review and that's it. Ain't no way it has a perfect score on IMDb. But if the movie's actually good, like, if it's actually a good movie, this movie's going to have rigs at the box office. This movie's, this movie's going to have, you know, Guys of the Galaxy not level rigs. As well. No, ain't no way I had a 10 out of 10 on IMDb, though. Okay.
Yeah. Yeah, but again, <laughs> the numbers still haven't changed for the Flash. Okay. And Box Office Pro must be looking really dumb now. Okay, both of these movies. Don't want to go watch any of these movies. <laughs> Actually, Insidious and Joyride should do okay, but... Elemental, they actually dropped the flash down to 32 to 5 million. But in the end, that would just see they could drop that movie down. <laughs> Let's see, before even worse. Okay, then expected. Okay. But yeah. Yeah, Mario guys and Fireballs at home eat up the bright cover of the day and whatever movies you guys have in the <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, that is it about the box office. Yeah. And yeah, goodbye.